his whole family in the car and they're all impaled on the window. Sorry, my dragon ate your unicorn. I love dragons. had to start out with highway photos h-i-w-a-y so first four months doing it jay leno contacted me and wanted to do an interview with me and that kind of gave me uh gave me uh acknowledgement that i was good at what i was doing you know i mean my photography up until then was products uh and building packages and you know, product management, that kind of photography. I wasn't doing this kind of photography, um, but I was still doing aviation photography. So I have a pilot's license, so I'd go up in an airplane and people would pay me to take pictures of their airplane from my airplane. <laughs> and so it was fun. I made pretty good money doing that. So came over here, set up shop. Uh, then I was able to land these two websites, highwayphotos.net and .com, uh, and everything kind of changed. So this is what I do. You know, you just sit back in serenity here. Oh, this, you know what? In between shots, yeah, this is pretty amazing. You know, and I'll bring little John with me anytime when it's cool. This is too hot. I don't want to stick him out here in the sun for this long. Downhill in that way. are going to see a lot of people blow this turn um, what they do is they come by here it's not so much that they're looking at me they speed up and they're on the wrong line then they overshoot trying to come back in and then they hit that wide yeah. but I've had three people go into this cliff here so got to pay attention don't look at the photographer look at the road and don't show off well he can show off <laughs> You know, so I do this for little John. Yep. Get to be a stay home dad. Awesome. Me and him conquering the world. Yes. Awesome kid. He's going to be everything, everything. He'll be the next president. <laughs> No mama, so all of those who are watching, little John needs a mom. I'm not that bad a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never even home. <laughs> oh, I used to have hair, then I had little John, and you know, it's gone. Last week, last week. Your beard is showing how old he is. When I <laughs> met you, you didn't even have any color in your beard. It was like just regular brown. Well, no, because I, I dyed it for a long time. Oh, is that what you were doing? You're yeah, I'm old. I don't give a fuck. You're shameful. Shameful. Yeah. I want to. typically the dirt is cooler than the asphalt the asphalt is usually the hottest thing right not here all right it's working so asphalt temperature here you know what? it was hotter two weeks ago 129 128 129 right watch this dirt 132 133 135 when I tell people how hot the road is, the first thing they say, especially bikers like Brock, is, ooh, sticky. <laughs> Come 
up, I'm going to shoot him here. Then we're going to run across the street. And stand over there where I can go to train. Yep. I would imagine 112. This is not 106. There we go. Perfect. I've always loved photography. My mother, I used to take pictures when we go on vacation up in Big Sur and I was using this little 110 camera and my mom would look at the pictures and she'd say, John, your pictures look exactly like these postcards. And that kind of, I mean, I was a teenager then. Uh, we would go down to Big Sur to the beach and I'd take these really pretty pictures. And uh, I was like the family photographer for every trip we went on. Uh, then I got into airplanes and shooting uh, air shows. And me and the camera just get to get, get we get along good. <laughs> there, let me shoot you. <laughs> See, that's why. Even that's a good shot. You want to see yourself? Oh, it's there, now you can see yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, that's me taking a picture of me. So, hey, here comes some more toys. Okay, so, do you want to know the real reason? I keep doing it even when I want to give up. That guy went over the doubles. I'm going to tell you a story. It's a quickie story. About a few years ago, uh, right around the time that my mother passed away, I was out here shooting. And it was after she passed away. And I was out here shooting. And just like I always do, I take a whole bunch of pictures. I go home. I put them on a computer. And it all becomes a blur. Just motorcycles, cars, bicyclists. I see them all, I'm looking at the pictures, looking at the quality and just kind of going through them like a machine. Then I post them online and I wait for the results, which is to get emails from people asking about their pictures. So this one guy contacts me, he was on a Harley, he was with a group of people, and he said, uh, I just want to know about these pictures, and he had the image on So I pull the pictures up on the computer, and I can see on this guy, He's got his arms up, and right on his forearm, he's got a date on there that is one day off from the day my mother died. And I'm like looking at the date, and I'm going, that's really weird. I got to ask him about that date. So I called the guy up. I didn't call him. I, I, I sent the guy an email, and I said, your pictures are all fantastic. I did the usual pitch that I give when I send somebody uh, information about their pictures. And I said, but I got to ask you about the tattoo on your forearm. My mother recently passed away and she passed away the day before the date that's on your arm. Was this a birthday or was it something that happened? And uh, if you don't mind me asking, I'd like to know what, what that's all about. says to me he says that day that's the day that his dad died and that this motorcycle he, that he was riding was his dad's motorcycle his dad's ashes are in the side bag and his friends are on a memorial ride for his dad so he's riding his dad's Harley with his dad's ashes in it for his last ride before having him interned in Hawaii because he was in World War II in Pearl Harbor so this is a guy who's telling me the story about his dad's final ride in the side bag of his own bike. And all I see is a lot of bike. And I'm telling you, from that day and other stories I've heard, this is why I do this. This is why I capture these memories. I don't know what this is to these guys.
stories I hear warm your heart. How could I not do this? That's why. Not about the money. It's about the stories. Awesome. Good story. Great story. <laughs> You'll have to edit the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs>